with Charles Davis. As always, I'm Brandon Gordon. And Charles, you talk about storylines in this one. I think it begins and ends with our two quarterbacks, certainly two of the best in the business. And nowadays, I don't think you can get by for long periods of time without a top flight quarterback. The way the game is played, with all the responsibility he has and how the game flows through him, if he's not on the top of his game, your team's not going to benefit at all. Get strapped in. It's just about time to get the party started. And we are underway here on EA Sports. Hill is going to take it out of the end zone. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. his first carry and that's not the start that he was looking for as he's going to be met and dropped behind the line it'll go as a loss of three right away and it's second down sometimes you just sit back and marvel at what he can do defensively speed strength quickness he's the whole package and that package just wrapped up the runner for a loss on second down right back to Hines and a nice run past the 30 yard line there Eight yards on the run, and that cuts us down to a third and about five. That's a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. Now the throw on third down, knocked away and incomplete. This is going to be the matchup to watch out on the perimeter, and it won't be the last time these two go at it. Both of them believe they are the superior. In this case, the win goes to the defense. Rodgers going to go on fourth down. All right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Picked up by the Michigan man, Jabril Peppers. And the Packers are going to take possession of the football. Well, short of them returning it for a pick six, that was about the worst start you could ask for in this one because your advantage of getting the ball first is gone, and they're set up a short distance from your end zone. Now you're counting on your defense to prevent a touchdown, and your offense, you better be ready to come out swinging on the next series. And down inside the 15 he goes. 11 yards and a Green Bay Packer first down. Edwards are there as they run out of the gun. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the 9. Give him 5 on the carry there and it'll be second down. the middle they go with Sanders and he'll take this from a nine down to about the seven just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry no not at all they did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up and they'll let their fullback try and push the pile and the Packers are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points it's amazing how much advice defensive players get on third down. You hear the bench screaming out, watch the draw, watch the screen, watch the pass here. Very rarely did they reference watching the fullback, and he slipped through and picked up a first down. Trying to keep those big legs churning, but he's going to go down in the backfield. It's a loss of a yard there, and it's second down. Now they'll throw with Rodgers. Being chased out, and he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. Second goal, last thing you need to do is get pushed backwards to take a sack. But he couldn't find anywhere to go with the football, had to eat it, and ended up on the ground. Well, they need to reverse the trend. The last two plays have gone backwards. Now it's third and goal. Now it's Rodgers. Looking for his tight end, Gates, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Bobby Bell. And he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. And he will bring this back. It's a pick six and a Raven touchdown. But what a 
response by that defensive unit, Charles, because they just saw their offense throw the interception. They come out there, not only get an interception of their own, but they take it back for the touchdown. I won't sing it because no one wants to hear that, but perhaps an early case of anything you can do, I can do better between these defenses. A lot of people can't expect the offense to light this game up, but so far, the defenses are stealing the show. This one fielded at the five. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. Now remember, they were just out here a moment ago through the pick six, so we'll see if they can take better care of the football this go around. Yeah, and sometimes, partner, I think it's almost better that you just throw the pick six and you come right back out on the field. You're not over on the sidelines dwelling for it for very long. You're not hearing everyone say, oh, hey, you'll get them next time. Hey, don't worry about it. All that stuff just goes right out the window. You're right back out on the field with a chance to atone. On first and ten, it's Sanders. And he'll be taken down as that will take us to the end of the first quarter of play. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. The last run got a couple here, second and eight. Another run here with Sanders. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. They give those two yards right back, and now they're looking at a third and ten. Now right where this set of downs started, they need a full ten here to pick up the first down and move the chains. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. Well, they've moved the ball okay here in these first two drives, but this one's going to, again, amount to nothing. They've got to start dialing up some plays that allow them to finish drives with points. Here's the veteran punter Lee as he sends this one away. But fortunately, he's able to recover his own fumble. That could have been trouble. I know there's no magnet in the ball, but sometimes for the punt returner, after such a scramble, it sort of feels that way, doesn't it? He has it, he loses it. Somehow, ball finds his way back to him. But tone for his sin, and you know he's taking a deep sigh of relief right now. Now here's a pass on first down that's knocked away and incomplete. That could have been a huge play, but give the defender credit. Stayed calm, stayed collected, and kept himself in a position to make a play on the ball without a penalty. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. A give running left. It's Sanders. And he'll take this up only to about his 18-yard line. They do get a yard there, but only a yard. Leaves him with third and nine looming. Well, that's a good start to this drive on the defensive side of the ball. And four C and completion on first down. Then you're able to shut down the running play on second. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised now. A little bit of pressure going at the quarterback in an expected passing situation. Throwing his Rodgers on third down. We're looking for Jefferson, but this is intercepted. Tredavious right with a pick. So this defense coming up with a takeaway, and maybe that's something that can bring a little life to that sideline. Well, I don't want to say that they've been sleepwalking through this first half because that's simply not true, but you're right. We haven't seen a lot of fire from these guys, really, on either side of the ball. So maybe that's the catalyst that they needed to get them back into this game. And the running lanes non-existent in this first half as they'll stop him behind the line. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Here's Rodgers to throw. He'll get this one complete. That's A.J. Brown. Yeah, he is out of bounds inside the 35. His first catch, good for 16 and a first. Thus far, it hasn't been a real fun half for them, but a play like that, that may get them off the schneid a little bit, get them loosened up and moving. Kind of seems like they've been sleepwalking and still sitting on zero points. And it's not always making an adjustment. Sometimes it's just going back to what you know can work and finally getting it done. 
toward the back corner of the end zone, but he could not get the feet down. This will wind up incomplete. There is something to a game plan with trying to keep a defense honest with a guy with that type of speed. You do so. Send him deep. Try to throw some air under it and hope you connect downfield. On that play, they were unsuccessful. To throw on second and ten. Rodgers. He's got his man, Gates. Touchdown, Packers. Antonio Gates, 33 yards. And the Packers are an extra point away from evening this one up. Pinheiro's extra point up and good. And we are tied at seven. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. Takes it at the seven. And he'll go down as this drive will start at the 25-yard line. Second quarter action with 1.59 remaining. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. And it's been a miserable start for them offensively. Obviously, two drives, two interceptions. And this is where you have to know your quarterback and know how you actually have to reach him. Do you do it with a little bit of humor? Maybe you break the ice a little bit like, hey, didn't we practice in that color jersey all week? Not the one that you're throwing it to? Or maybe you have to be stern with it. But whatever it's going to take to get the message, it has to be done. He's putting the game in jeopardy. Rodgers throw pulled in by Jefferson. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. 18 yards the game for number 18. And that's a more than acceptable read right there because it's zone coverage, so timing is everything. This time he waits for his man to come open, puts it right on him, and they pick up a first down. Hills hit, and he lost the football. And the Packers pick it up. And the return here is stopped.
with Charles Davis. As always, I'm Brandon Gordon. Charles, you talk about storylines in this one. I think it begins and ends with our two quarterbacks, certainly two of the best in the business. And nowadays, I don't think you can get by for long periods of time without a top-flight quarterback. The way the game is played, with all the responsibility he has and how the game flows through him, if he's not on the top of his game, your team's not going to benefit at all. Ryan Suckup, the man tasked with getting this one started. And this one is underway here on EA Sports. Fields it right around the goal line. And good coverage there on special teams as they'll get him down shy of the 20. Rodgers. And it's complete to Antonio Gates. And he'll have this past the 30 prior to going out of bounds. 11 yards and a Green Bay Packer first down. A lot of tight ends just use their size and their strength, try to occupy some space and kind of body people away and catch the football. But not this guy. He's a refined route runner. Makes me wonder if he took some dance classes in his background with his footwork. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. They'll run with Sanders up the middle. And he edges forward, but only gets a pair of yards out of it. And it's second down. They suspected it was a power play up the middle coming at him. And boy, were they right. That defense got downhill in a hurry and limited them to just a couple on first down. Throwing on second and eight. Rodgers got an open man. That's David Njoku, the tight end. The result, only four yards there on the play. And they're going to have a third down. I think defensively, you're okay with that. You're in the first quarter. He's going to get some catches, but they rallied to him quickly. And that's what you count on. And I like what you just said. First quarter, can you do it all game long? They catch it, you tackle, and they go down on the spot. He's got a man complete. Touchdown, Packers. A.J. Brown, 64 yards. And the Packers are on the board first here this afternoon. Pinheiro's extra point up and good. And it's now a 7-0 game. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. This one fielded at the 5. And able to get this out to the 25. They start on the ground here at Sanders. And he will lose yardage and be backed up to the 24. They'll lose a yard there and it's second and 11. Moving backwards on first down, never a good thing. What does that do for the mindset on second down? Well, it changes your play call, definitely, because as a play call, you're advancing yourself, thinking, okay, we're going to get a gain here. Now you've got to go back in reverse, come up with something to pick up not just the yardage lost, but gain a few extra. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. It was Melvin Ingram that time who shot in to bring him down. Two plays so far, a run and a pass attempt, and both have gone backwards. Probably not how they drew that up. Not at all. <laughs> Looking for a better play coming up on third. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. That's complete to Justin Jefferson. And he is going to have an Eagles first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Young looks to throw on first down. And this turns into a nice gain with a slide at the end. That would have broken play, but it ends up being a good play. The scramble goes for 20. 
I think the last two plays really illustrate how difficult it is to game plan against this guy because you know he can throw the football. But how about his use of legs as well? What we call those broken plays, you can't account for them. Yeah, those plays, those two that you just mentioned, a microcosm really of how he can hurt you. Well, they've been back on their heels a little bit here on this drive, but a chance to exhale just a little bit there with incompletion on first down. Now they have to gear up, try and get two more stops and escape this drive. Now a man open down the middle of the field. And he's going to be marked down just inside the 35. Play number seven coming on this drive. It's third and inches. Throwing. Young. Open man is Michael Irvin complete. And he'll be out of bounds just inside the 25-yard line. Give him 10 yards there as this offense is on a roll. This drive continues to plunge forward. Solid opening drive so far, Charles. They've moved this football in the field goal. Start of the second quarter, and it's the Eagles in possession as they've got it with a first and 10. Now they'll run the option to the short side left. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Steve Young. Taking it in from 24 yards out. And the Eagles are an extra point away now from tying this ball game. Extra point put through by Sucka. And we are tied at seven. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. Takes it at the seven. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. Offense ready to get their next drive underway. A long drive last time out for this offense, Charles. If you remember, they started basically in the shadows of their own end zone, marched it down the field, and a lot of that was through the passing game. And partner, as a former defensive back, I'm having almost a physical reaction watching what's happening right now. But let's give credit where it's due because they've done an excellent job moving the ball through the air. Secondary getting picked apart pass by pass. Obviously, they need to make some adjustments there on the back end. Yeah, because offensively, we know that they're not going to be shy about throwing that football. From the 36, Rodgers, Gates with a grab. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. That was a route run not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw it, and was able to make the sure catch and flip the down marker back to one. We're running on first down is Sanders, but he will not get back to the line of scrimmage before he's taken down. A loss of one. Well, that was not what you would call straight line pursuit for a middle linebacker to make this play. He's got to work his way through the clutter to get to the ball carrier on the outside. And he does exactly that. That's called avoiding the trash. And he rifles one incomplete. To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free. And there's another example, another incompletion. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Working from the gun, Rodgers. Right side catch, this is Gates. And he will get this to the midfield strike, but that's not going to be enough. He's a few yards short. That'll give him eight that time, and that's going to make it fourth down. One hallmark of good defenses is understanding the game, understanding positioning, and tackling immediately in the secondary after catches. I think we just saw that on display right there. Got to him before he ever had a chance to think about turning it upfield. Rodgers to throw for it on fourth. And it's knocked away and incomplete. 
so certainly an interesting call there to go for it. And this defense will take over right at midfield. The Eagles in good position to start out as they come up first and 10 right at the 50-yard line. Young with a give to Sanders. And he'll work this forward for about three at second down. 158 left to play till we hit halftime. And the last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Young will set to throw. Steps away to his left. Nothing open downfield, so he'll throw it away. The turnover put him in great field position. They don't want to squander it with third down coming up. No, not at all. And you know what else you do? You make your defense mad. Yeah. He got you the football, gave you a great opportunity. You got to cash in and get some points. Packer pressure, and down he goes. It's Jeffrey Simmons that time who got in to record the sack. And this is a quarterback who's already had success on the ground in this first half, but this time they're able to hem him in. And it's always different when you rush a mobile quarterback as opposed to a guy you know will be right back in the pocket. In this case, you got to make sure the inside pressure and the outside pressure match, and maybe even a second wave to make sure if he squirts free, you've got someone to tackle him. Fourth down, Young. He's got a man complete. And he'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. Fourth down conversion plays. You usually think one, two, three yards, maybe ten. Not there. What a huge pickup as the sticks make a drastic shift forward. From the red zone now, Young to the right side and complete to Jefferson. And he will reach the five-yard line before going out of bounds. Back-to-back -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. How about the way they're moving the ball down the field? They had a big play a moment ago. Followed up with another nice one here. And before you know it, they're already looking at first and goal. And they'll try the option on first and goal. And he's in for an Eagles touchdown. Steve Young with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Eagles have moved down in front. Extra point up and good by Suckup. And that makes the score 14 to seven. Now it's Ryan Suckup on after the touchdown to kick it away. This one fielded at the five. And beyond the 20, but not by much. In fact, just a yard pass there to the 21. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway as they take over with exactly one minute to go. There to stop him on the defensive side, Fred Warner. The Packers going to use one of their timeouts. As the clock will stop with 55 seconds to go until halftime. On second and nine, Rodgers, and he slings one that's incomplete. Oh man, that was close. The opportunity to change momentum, big play, right in his hands unable to come down with it. A sigh of relief, no doubt, on offense that that fell harmlessly to the ground. After an incomplete pass on second down, that'll leave him trying to convert on third and nine. Throwing is Rodgers. And this one is incomplete. Right up to that point, I was about to say, he's had a pretty good half catch in the football, but... Let's just be honest about it. He should have caught that one. And he knows that. That was one right in his bread basket and one he normally catches. And it goes a 42, make it a 43 yard punt. Six on the return. And it will be Eagles football first and 10. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. 
And with good starting field position and three timeouts as well in their pocket, no reason not to try and put a late scoring drive together. And this is taken in at the five. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Justin Jefferson, 63 yards. And the Eagles will extend their lead in the final minute of the half. Extra point put through by Sucker. And it's now 21-7. It's Ryan Suckup on after the touchdown to kick it away. From the six. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. It's a gain of 16 and a first down for the green and gold. I'm okay with the call there. In fact, I actually like it. I know they're down a couple of scores, but the running game worked in that situation. I would continue to go in that direction. And a pretty athletic run right there as he's going to get this down inside the 40. Now the Packers are going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 14 seconds to go in this first half. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Now Rodgers. This is caught. It's Brown. And he's going to get this down near the 25. Now a signal and a timeout call as it comes with nine seconds to go in this first half of play. This is up and good from Pinheiro. And that will get the disadvantage now back down to 11. Well, not the best first half facing this deficit, but at least they did put three on the board in four halves. Yeah, it's a little bit like that stormy, cloudy day and the sun peeks through just for a second. They saw the sun there. They're hoping to see a little bit more of it in the second half. This will be fielded inside the five. And he won't get this to the 20-yard line as he's down at the 19. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. One second, all that remains. Final play of the half, Young. Dancing to his left. And some room to maneuver. And they work this well upfield across the 45. Time for a break. We've hit halftime. Two quarters down. Two still remain. We step aside. This is the NFL on EA Sports. Welcome back. Charles and I settled into the booth ready for quarter number three. So the Eagles with the lead, and they're going to get this football first as the third quarter gets underway. This will be fielded inside the five. And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. And they've got the lead. CD, what do you think the message was at halftime? I don't think the message was too drastic, I think, at the half, or that they need to change things too much. I do think the offensive line could play a little bit better. But I think they'll try and help them out more. They'll probably keep a tight end in a few more times and maybe add a running back to the formation to pick up those pass rushers because they probably allowed a few too many sacks for comfort in the first half. Now he dumps this off over the middle. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. Caught that look from me there, partner. I think we're on the same page on that one. Just his first catch. I think we both thought he'd be a little more active in the passing game. Let's see if that's the start of them trying to get the ball to him a little bit more here in the second half. Throw left side taken in by Jefferson. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. He continues to deliver a first down here. He had four catches in the first half, and this one number five. 
Henry up the middle. And this one not going anywhere. They get him at the 44 for a gain of just a yard. But it's hard to have vision as a runner and find a hole when there's nothing but defenders in your way. They stacked that one up really well. But give him credit. Instead of trying to bounce it out and turn it into a big play, which might have turned into a big loss, Kai just took his medicine there and took the one yard. 12 yards there as they keep this drive rolling. It's another first down. And now we get into the psychology of the whole thing because a lot of teams with a two-score lead in the third quarter, they almost become defensive with their offense, just playing not to lose. I think with this team, you got to figure at this point, this is a great spot for them to go into attack mode, really try to put the hammer down and finish this one off. That throw by Young incomplete. Offense was moving it a little bit, had them back on their heels, but they earned a brief pause by forcing the incompletion. That gives them a quick chance to regroup and try and mount a stand before they're backed up even further. And a pretty good burst right there as he'll take this down to the 33. 12 yards is the pickup. Good for an eagle first down. Looks to me like maybe there's a little attrition setting in with this drive. Because when you see that type of a run, I get the feeling the defense gets a little bit tired. And that's the last thing they need, especially when they look up at the scoreboard. They keep it with Henry on first down. And a five-yard gain as he's down inside the 30 to the 28-yard line. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. On second down, here's a keeper by the QB. And he'll go down here right around the 23-yard line. They got five through the air last play, now five on the ground, first and ten. And third quarter here, you've got the lead. This is where that strong run game can really benefit you. Stayed in bounds there, kept the clock going. I like all the points you just made there. And if you throw the football and it's incomplete, now you've stopped the clock and you've helped out the guys on the other side of the ball. So keep it in the hands of those runners, keep moving and keep grinding the clock. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. From the 17, here's second and four. Young to throw it. That one complete to a corner. And the Eagles are going to have a first and goal as he's taken down at about the eight-yard line. And looking to put this game on ice in the fourth quarter, but still not afraid to throw it as they show there. You want to play the game with confidence, and they have a guy who's in control right now. Their trigger guy throwing it, they feel just as confident with him doing that as they would if they tried to run the ball and run the clock out. And he will maneuver his way down to about the seven. Only a yard that time, second and goal. They'll give Henry another shot. And a little bit of space there. Takes it inside the five to the three. Give him right around four on the carry. We'll see if they want to keep pounding here on third and goal. Sanders. And he'll go backwards. Losing yardage to the five. He lost two and it brings up four. This has not been a fun game for this defense. They've definitely had their share of struggles, but they needed to make a play right there, and they finally get it done on third and goal. take it all the way down and just take the delay. So they accept the penalty, of course, and push the offense backwards a bit. And they're still going to go for it on fourth and goal, even after the penalty. No sign of the field goal team. Here's Steve Young. And that's going to be caught for an Eagles touchdown. Justin Jefferson with his second touchdown of the afternoon. 
And the Eagles have pretty... Oh, they flip it to the kicker. He looks like he's going to throw it. I know they're not asking me, but I'll give you my opinion anyway. I think it's time to erase that play from the call sheet. I guess they figure with the big lead, they can experiment a little bit. But all in all, just go ahead and put that play on ice. Now it's Ryan Suckup on after the touchdown to kick it away. Take it in at the three. And he takes this near the 25. Just a little pass there. Call it the 26. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. Well, probably not much that they can do at this point, CD. Down three scores late in the fourth quarter. This is going to be a little too much to overcome, you would think. Yeah, they go down swinging, but in the end, I think we saw the right number wall a while back because one team was clearly better than the other in this one. And while it didn't quite reach blowout status, I think we knew who was going to win this one well before we got to this stage. 11 yards and a Green Bay Packer first down. Sanders toss left side. And he'll take this one up close to about the 45. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Sometimes you're aligned perfectly and the play comes to you. And sometimes you got to cover some ground to go make the play as we just saw there. We saw a great, great example of perseverance right there on that play. Got to be careful. They might want to throw one over his head as this game progresses. On second down, a run with Edwards Allaire. And they'll get this just to the 47. One yard gain. This is what happens sometimes when you abandon the running game. It's hard to get back to it because once guys get out of that mentality of firing out and hitting people, hard to get them started again occasionally. On third down, they turn to Sanders. And he'll get this up near midfield, but that's still a few yards shy of the first down. So fly, Eagles fly. It's a victory for Philadelphia. And it was their defense that really made the statement after the break. They pitched the second half shutout.